let's have a look at Fibonacci sequence. All we need to remember for this sequence is adding the two previous terms. For example, 0 plus 1 gives us 1. Write that down. Now we add 1 plus 1 gives us 2. And next, 2 plus 1 gives us 3. And then 3 plus 2 gives us 5. And then 5 plus 3 gives us 8. And that's the Fibonacci sequence. So let's find the next five terms using Fibonacci. So 2 plus 7 gives us 9. Then 9 plus 7 gives us 16. And 16 plus 9 equals 25. And then 25 plus 16 is 41. And 41 finally plus 25 will give us 66. So the terms are 9, 16, 25, 41 and 66. Using the Fibonacci, you may be asked um, with negative numbers. So if we had negative 4 plus 10 would give us 6. And then 6 plus 10 is 16. 16 plus 6 is 22. And then 22 plus 16 is 38. 38 plus 22 is 60. So the next three terms in this sequence would be 22, 38 and 60. So this sequence can be used for algebra. So let's step it up. Now the terms are separated by commas, so let's have a go. So we've got 2a and a, so if we add them up, that gives us 3a. Next, 3b and 5b, we know that's 8b, so put the comma there and go for the next term, a plus 3a, 4a, and then 5b and 8b will give us 13b. So the next two terms are 3a plus 8b and 4a plus 13b.